Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're diving into a question you may have thought was sci-fi. Can your Wi-Fi network actually detect you moving even through walls? It sounds wild, but there's real research showing Wi-Fi signals can be used in surprising ways. We will break down how it works, what use cases are emerging, the privacy risks, and how you can keep your home network safe. Let's start with how this actually works. Wi-Fi is more than just bits flowing to your phone. It is radio waves traveling in your home. When these waves bounce off walls, furniture, or people, they change in very subtle ways. Researchers track those changes using something called channel state information, which captures how the wave's strength and phase shift as it moves. By collecting that data and applying machine learning models, they have shown it is possible to detect motion, a person's presence, and even gestures and outlines. But, and this is important, it typically requires controlled setups, multiple synchronized antennas, custom software, consistent environments, and little interference. So yes, the science is real, but the everyday implementation still has major limits, at least for now. That being said, I should also mention that some companies have started experimenting with early motion sensing features in their products that use Wi-Fi signals to detect movement. But these features only detect general motion within range and are much simpler than the carefully controlled lab setups used in research. Now let's look at how this technology could actually be used. Because this sensing technique doesn't rely on cameras or visible sensors, it opens up some interesting possibilities. Monitoring motion in rooms without a camera. For example, checking if someone is moving around in the morning. Detecting falls or unusual movements in homes for older adults. Smart home automation without extra hardware. For example, lights that turn on when you enter without needing a visible motion sensor. These are exciting uses and they're already in early deployment in some settings. But remember, many of these are still prototypes or limited production features. With new power comes new concerns. If Wi-Fi signals can be used to detect movement, then what happens if someone gains access to the signal data from your router? That opens up potential for misuse. For example, tracking motion patterns, presence in rooms, or behavior routines. But before we move forward, it is good to know this. It is not like a camera so you won't get facial details or video. It's also not built into most consumer routers yet because it requires a specific hardware and software to work properly. That said, just because it's not common today doesn't mean it won't evolve. If motion sensing becomes more embedded in future Wi-Fi systems, the data could become much more powerful, which is why it is smart to stay informed and be proactive about your network security. Whether or not motion sensing Wi-Fi becomes common, securing your home network is already a smart move. Here are four practical steps. Keep your router firmware up to date. Manufacturers fix vulnerabilities all the time. Use a strong, unique password for your router, not something easy or default. Disable remote access or administration unless you really need it. This limits outside access. Segment your network. Put the smart devices or IoT gear on a guest or separate network so they don't have access to your main devices. These steps don't eliminate every risk but they cover the major ones and they're simple to do so what's the bottom line wi-fi sensing is real technology it uses radio waves machine learning and signal reflection to detect motion and presence while it originally started in research labs, some early versions are already making their way into smart home products, though still very limited in what they can do. The fact that this technology even exists shows how powerful and intelligent our networks are becoming. And because of that, your best defense is still a secure, well-managed home network. If you found this helpful, give the video a like and subscribe for more no-nonsense Wi-Fi and networking tips. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Would you feel comfortable with motion sensing Wi-Fi if it meant fewer cameras in your home?
Tell me in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.